Okay, hello, I am Trina. I am working on the Oh My Heart collection. Um, let's see if I can get it at the center of that. There we go. Yeah, close enough. Anyways, if you have, yeah, my phone is not really the brightest at the moment, but okay, let's see if that'll work. Ooh, glare. Anyway, so it's kind of hard to see, but there are cards and there are layouts and they are all gorgeous so um i am going to go ahead and work on the this is the first one that i did i did this in my last video um this is the next one that i'm working on so um i will go ahead and get started on these so this is where i'm gonna start if you're new um this is a card base it's, let's see it's through it's four inches by six inches and then it's scored in the middle where i folded and that makes a three by four card so this background here uh the card on the top left is has a grid which i thought was an amazing idea now i do not get it perfect however you i mean if you spend a little more time on it than i do you it would definitely be um you know a better grid i don't mind it the way that it turned out i actually like it um it gives it a little bit of a kind of a edge to it instead of having perfectly straight lines um like I said, you can, you know, mix and match it and, or like change it, change, not mix and match, match it, mix and match it, more like, you know, put a little more effort into it if you wanted to and um, it would turn out a bit straighter. Again, you know, everybody has their own styles and usually I'm really picky about that kind of stuff, but I don't know, I've really been enjoying just going for it, so... So on this card, I did, um, on the instructions, it shows just one line across, like one of the dotted lines, sewn stitch lines across. And I decided to do two layers so that it was like, you know, um, when you do a, uh, when you like, how do I explain that? When you get jackets and stuff, the seat, the around the edges, the seams have two lines. And I thought that would be kind of a cool look instead of just the one. And it fills up that space as well. And of course I added a whole bunch more uh, stickles. Um, I've never really liked stickles before. And so this, the way that they're using them on, on all of these cards, it's really kind of broken me into using them. And I really like that. I like getting comfortable really quickly with things that I wasn't comfortable with before. It really show, goes to show that, you know, you can use... Uh, you can use different things at different times in your life and you will, you know, have a totally different experience with it than you did the first time. So, I just, I... And here I thought this was going to be difficult, yeah. This, I thought, I was like, how am I going to get it so even? And was, psh, just stick it down. Just stick it down. It works great. Um, I realized that I did not have the piece of paper in there for the word love and then I was like you know what I could totally do like a banner cut with this so maybe I should do that so then I decided I'm gonna stamp another one it's <laughs> like we'll have a banner that says love instead of just uh, you know a square piece of paper so yay there's love and I do go ahead and pop up that I was contemplating putting black behind there to bring in the black from the word but it just seemed like too much black. So then that's when I decided to grab the stitched um, stamp and uh, put that on the pink side. And it just kind of draws your attention to the background as well. So it makes it look a bit more complete. So the jar I did not put up on the foam. However, the word love I do. And the reason being is because I didn't, I don't know, it just seemed like the jar was too big to put up. You know what I mean? Like it just seems like it was going to take up the whole entire page and you, or the whole cover and you wouldn't really notice it. Or it, it would be, I don't know, just like, I don't know, it would overpower the, the background and everything. So I wanted that to go back and then um, I decided to pop up the love banner and then I added some 
uh, silver stickle hearts inside the jar. So yay, more stickles. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, like I said, I get just, I went wild with these stickles. I was so excited. Um, I still am because like I said, I didn't like them before. I'm like, they were okay for like flower centers. I just didn't like how when you put them in a ball, like, like in, when you squeeze it out and it looks like a perfect little blob, and then when it dries, it kind of like all the air gets sucked out of the blob and it looks just like a depleted balloon, sparkly balloon, and it just, I don't know. I never liked that part, but um, I don't know. I think they've perfected the stickles glue. I want to say it's glue. You can use it as glue, technically, but um, I, th I think it, I think they've, they've uh, made the concoction very, very, very well. Much better than back in the olden days, so. But again, everything, you know, changes with time, so trying things that you didn't like before, you might like them now. And honestly, I could have stamped that, that little word underneath of heart. I don't remember what, I don't even remember what it says. And it's not over here, so I can see it. I have them all kind of up on a shelf right now, all the ones I've done so far. Um, now this one, I had no real idea as to what colors were supposed to go where. And I, I could tell that there was some second generation stamping, but I couldn't tell exactly where it was supposed to be and what colors they were supposed to be, so I was just kind of winging it. And um, then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing my clusters that I like to do and see how it turns out. Just kind of use that um, image as a guide. Um, so I know if if I end up, you know, messing up, I could always flip it over if I wanted to. Which I don't know. I didn't I didn't mess it up. And I actually like how it turns out too, so yay me. <laughs> and this one I add more sparkles, more stickles. And I think I come back here. I come back and add a little bit more just because it looked like there was, I don't know, something off. And now on to the last one. Um, this one is just the last for this page. There is like, I don't know, seven pages of this. I don't know, there's a lot. There's technically ten. Ten pages, actually, because there's 40 cards. And there's four per page. So, um, yeah, there's ten pages. And I've only gotten, right now, as of this video, I've only done four of them, four or five of them. So I'm about halfway there. I think I might um, do a the last layout uh, right smack dab in the in the middle of the videos so of the cards so it doesn't just it's not just all cards, right? These are pretty short videos for the cards. Um, but yeah, so I probably expect a layout coming up soon. And uh, that is the little X and O. And I actually don't like that, so I pull it up and I cut myself out another one because I want out of the light color that the hearts are instead of that, um, I don't remember what color it is. I want, it's not the, it's not, it, maybe it is pixie. It's the pixie color, but I want it out of the ballerina color, and so I cut a strip that's the same size, but it's the lighter color that blend, you know, that goes with those hearts, and I like that just simply because it brings it brings in that color that's already there, and it kind of keeps it balanced that way. And then I go ahead and I use red, the uh, candy apple, to bring out to you know to balance it and bring the red up to that. Um, to that uh, strip. So that is something that I did change on that card that wasn't, you know, that way before. And I'm also changing up, instead of using the pixie for this or the raspberry, I use the red. And I add a couple of stickles, and then I actually kind of go wild with the stickles on this one. I add it in between every heart and because there's a little dot in between every heart and I'm just like oh that would be perfect and it makes it lots of sparkles <laughs> so 
Lots of sparkles. Lots of sparkles. So these are the four, and this is what they originally looked like, and this is what I ended up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you are new, you're welcome to subscribe. I'd love to have you as a, as a, as a subscribe, mouth. subscriber. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.